pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Between for the year. Okay. Everybody got a copy of the minutes of the previous meeting for 1019, 1023, and 1102? Yep. I'll make a motion we approve those minutes as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Process concludes on Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023, at 9 a.m. due to Tasha being quarantined with COVID. At Kathy's advanced age, we didn't want to expose her to anything. <laughs> it would have been treacherous. Yes. Okay. Payroll warrants for 1026. 11 2, 11 9, and 11 16, and the amount of $32,683.69. I make a motion to accept the claims and warrants and the, and the payroll. Okay. Did we already do the claims and warrants? Sorry. No, those no. are. Oh, you guys did it. COVID, so those will be. The payroll then. I apologize. Okay. Sorry. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, we got bank reconciliations for the end of the month, October 20, 2023, utilities $2,922,165.63. For the town, $1,567,188.51. Payroll two thousand six hundred thirty six dollars and thirteen cents and customer deposits thirty five thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars. I move to accept the bank reconciliations for the end of month November October, rather. Second. Second. On favor. Aye. 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 Thank you. <clears throat> Got one billing adjustment in the amount of five hundred and eighteen dollars and ninety cents. Make a motion to approve the billing adjustment for $518.90 of all the paperwork's done. Yeah, it's when you approved at the last meeting. It was an underground leak. Yep. Mm -hmm. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Well, we'll get the rest of that list. Dustin? No. I think you're here about a pay application. Is that true? I have a couple, so you should have, I think, did you give copies of the pay application uh, for the CCMG stuff? We already approved that pending clarification Okay. That's for the 672, and then today um, Kevin sent the one for the balance. Yep, the 35 for 2024. Yep. Yes. So that one does need approved. Yep, and that's, I only brought one copy because... I, the wrong button on the yeah, I didn't stick that one in there. <laughs> so, thought I had more, so you guys will, may have to share, but it's just the retainage amount. It's, the, it's super small, too. It's the 35, I can't read upside, 42024. Yeah. It's just for the retainage amount, and uh, as you can see, if you look down at the far right hand column, is all um, adjustments to the quantities that were supposed to be installed. They actually came in under what they said. 
what they bid. So instead of being seven or eight hundred and some thousand dollars, the total project came out at like seven oh four. Okay, that was my question. I never got an email back on the clarification. So the difference in that we have to send back to NDOT, correct? Yep. Right? So how did that work out with, um, it came in short, but there was a couple projects they did that weren't in the project. That was Will we be built separately for that? It's that 4000 and some there at the very bottom. Yeah. So they took them off there. So did they do the? That's why I couldn't find out if they actually did the work or not. See, that's what I wanted clarification, but I didn't get it back. Good. They would. I mean, since it's outside of that, they could be billed separately. Since it doesn't, since Indot doesn't need to see it, they could. We can have them just. They if you approve this, we can. It's a negative, so I didn't. It's know a negative, it. so you didn't yeah. pay anything on it on this. Okay. Uh, we can have okay. if they did do it, we can have them pay se have them invoice to the town separately. So that For that, okay. Not on that paperwork. Pass that around. I don't have to take the total cost of project because that's the final dollar amount due, right? Yep. So 25% of that and send the balance back, right? I, 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 I get confused by community crafts every time. Yeah. I'm sorry. Same enough, so, uh, 35, 420. But I did talk to a very helpful person at HWC just today. Katie? Katie, Katie Adams. Adams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She yeah. was like all over stuff. So I got the yeah, so I'll email her tomorrow and make sure I'm still uh, she, she knows way more. I, I know just yeah. enough. Yeah, she was <laughs> like, oh, I used to work on the like ADOC side of this. And I was like, oh. So you're the problem. Yeah, okay. and so, she just want to get the process <laughs> going, and then Kevin steps in at the end. But I'll just email her then. Yeah, she'll be able to clarify anything. Yeah. I think straight going this place too. That's what's confused. Anyway, I've got the negative figures here though. That. I can. I looked at. I mean, well, I guess I'm yeah. different than the one last one. to come that was going to push it up more than that amount. Looks like they've got everything, you know, all the sub parts are done. So. It's too bad they just want to just keep it for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Is that 35 one? 420. Yeah, I'll just email her in the morning or call them. Close out the community crossings. I'll make a motion to approve the community crossing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So you can keep that. And Stuff if you want to talk wastewater stuff. Let's go. We're so excited. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, after the last meeting, I, I got a hold of SRF, they, uh, Camille Miners at SRF, and she understands the situation that you're in. Um, obviously, she can't, and SRF can't obligate any kind of money or anything like that until the applications and 
April and then follow up in July. Uh, try to contact John McGee. Haven't heard back. Calling me this afternoon. Haven't heard back from him yet. Um, with her experience, with SRF's experience, with things somewhat similar in the past, RD will. I mean, they they know where you're at. They're they're a lone agency. They're it's not like you're completely demolishing everything down there to do additional work. So they do provide additional loans. Uh, I'll still try to contact Don McGee, and then I'll I can, if I get a hold, he'll probably call tomorrow since the meeting was today. Um, but I'll send out an email, just a quick summary of everything. But Camille's uh, at OSRF's recommendation was to go ahead and get a, a PER started. No matter which direction you go, whether you rehab or you do a mechanical plant, if you go after funding through either, either agency, you have to have a PER to submit with that. Uh, so the rec her recommendation was to go ahead and get started on that. Um, the SRF one is due in April. If you submit it after April 1st, they don't evaluate it for that year. You have to wait a whole other year. Still a decent amount of time till then, but you, know, you lose November, you lose December, and then all of a sudden we're, it's February and we're, it happens every year for every project that we do. It's, Get around the holidays and figure out what, what the timing is. But so, agent funding agency wise, seem like they both can could be on board with whatever we, as, as the town of Montezuma, want to do. Um, I also ran a few more numbers because we were looking at the rehabilitation and the the mechanical plant as long term. We looked at capital costs. Obviously, rehab's a lot cheaper than we looked at the long term cost. Tried to fine tune those a little bit since the last meeting. The numbers. The differences really didn't change. If we make some assumptions, if the if the life expectancy, not life expectancy, that's not the word I want to use, if the comparison time period is 20 years, and we assume this, the sand media for the recycling sand filters last 10 years, then rehab's about a million dollars cheaper over that 20 year period. But as you start to adjust, if the media doesn't last that long, um, say it only lasts seven years, the Rehab's about nine hundred thousand dollars cheaper, so it only saves you a little bit. But I saw, I said at some point it has to be cheaper to do the mechanical plant because that spending one point two million dollars for rehab every seven to ten years has got to catch up eventually. So I looked at, you know, what if you compare them over thirty years? If you compare them at thirty years and the sand lasts ten, um, it's about four. Then instead of being a million dollars difference, it's only four hundred thousand dollars difference. And then if you say the sand only lasts eight years, seven to eight years, it's then the mechanical plant's about five hundred thousand dollars cheaper. So it actually flips and the mechanical plant becomes cheaper for the thirty year period versus the recirculating sand filter. Um, and then forty years the same thing, the gap just begins to grow between the mechanical plant and the rehab. But we don't evaluate for the PER we don't evaluate on thirty or forty years, we just do the twenty years to be in compliance with those uh, both permitting or birth funding agencies. So it really comes, I mean, yes, there's a cost difference and it, and it costs more, but you guys have been experiencing headaches for three, four, five years, whatever the number is now. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, so you can choose an option that is not the cheapest if you have good justification for that being so. An obvious justification is if you've lost, what, one and a, two operators, one operator, I can't remember since then due to retirement, um, we're just tired of the headache. So you guys can make a decision other, any other way you want. Um, the big, and I guess the more important decision at this point is if you do the rehabilitate, if you decide to go rehabilitation, we can proceed with doing the sludge processing, so the geobag system, the sludge holding tanks, and all that stuff that we've got in the water project, we can proceed with the design of that and bid it out in the first of the year and get that under construction. However, if you if your long-term goal as part of the PER is to do a mechanical plant, at doing the sludge processing, let's say now, that work doesn't make a lot of sense because you'll have a sludge holding tank that you've got to pay for now, and then once the new mechanical plant is online, that you won't need it. We'll repurpose some of the tankage out there, that phosphorus tank that you guys paid for five or six years ago, we'll repurpose that into a sludge holding tank. Some of this piping will get scrapped just to do realignments and repiping and things like that. So the, some work that you do now on the sludge work, if you do a mechanical plant, will get demolished in 
two years, three years, whatever, however long it takes to do the mechanical plan. So there's there's trade-offs to, to whichever route you guys decide to go. So I, my, I guess my off-the-cuff recommendation would be if you're going to do rehab, let's move forward with the sludge process that, we're, that we had already talked about. But if you're leaning towards the mechanical plant, let's hit the brakes on the sludge processing. I know it's going to be a pain for the guys down at the plant, but I hate to put in, you guys spend money now to, to have to remove, you know, fifty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 worth of brand new installation as part of the mechanical plan. This doesn't make a lot of financial sense for, for you guys. So, I know I kind of threw a bunch of numbers out there, so I do apologize, but does anybody have any questions with, with... Well, if you do the rehab, then we still have a sludge problem for many years, so... Right, well, we'd have to do that. This, <laughs> this geobagging system, would, we could, if you go do with the rehab, we would start design which we've already started a little bit of it, start designing that sludge process now, nah, okay. and it will go into construction in the spring. But if you're, if you're thinking you don't want to deal with the recircling sand filters anymore, and you want to do a mechanical plant, then we would stop the design of any sludge process because you're going to have to rework some of that as part of the future design. Hmm. <clears throat> what is uh, item, probably not number one on the list of favorite people now anyway, so if we say, okay, we're just going to live with what we got another two years and do this, uh, do you have any idea or any feeling for what their thoughts are? So they, we, John, well, we drafted that letter and John sent it to IDEM saying, please give us till January 15th or whatever, I can't remember what day we picked, but give us till the end of January to make our decision so we can get a game plan. So you guys have till then to to kind of formulate a game plan that you want to do, and then by that January 15th or 30th, whatever date that was, you guys will have to, it's kind of like we did on the water, you have to put together kind of a, a compliance plan, and it, they can be fairly lengthy, I mean the water was two, two and a half years uh, of compliance. IDEM will not like it, but they won't hate it, I guess is, is the thing. You'll still get dinged if, if you have an overflow between now and when it goes into compliance. You'll still get in trouble. We'll end, you guys will end up on the agreed order at some point anyway, no matter what. Um, but they'll understand that the reason that you guys are having issues is that you're in the process of, of going at your study. You're going to do the study phase, and then on this, on, the, on the wastewater, they'd like to see you go straight from study to design and have design ready so that whenever you do get funding, you're ready to go. So kind of on the water side, we we did a little different. We got we tried to get funding and then we started design. They'd want to see that. You guys go ahead and start design so that as soon as you have funding, you guys are ready to go and you're just, there's no waiting on us or, or whoever the engineer is to, to do the design and get it bid. They want to see you be able to, to bid immediately when you have funding. So they... They could, you still could you get in trouble. Um, and they, really, not a lot more trouble you can get in after a agreed order other than big fines. But as long as you have a, a plan of action and you are following that, you can't say in two years we're going to be in compliance and then a year from now be sitting having the same meeting. They're, they're going to be really mad at that point. But if you say we'll be ready in three years and for the next six months we're going to do a study and then for the next year and a half after that we're going to do design and then we're going to be ready as soon as we can get funding from a rural development SRF we're ready to go then they would under that they can understand that's that's something feasible and viable that they'll understand i don't know if that really answered your question or not but i kind of beat around the bush but yeah i'm just trying to outguess them anyway yeah. yep. well hadn't we like kind of discussed that the rehab would probably just put us in more trouble for longer than just going ahead with the mechanical. Yes. I mean, I, I know it wasn't official official, but haven't we all kind of discussed? I guess that's, I, I, so. I, I, I want to know whether you guys want us to stop on the design of the sludge process because you're going to go mechanical or if you want to keep us going on the sludge process and then we did that and we can, you know, really take our favor. That's the real kind of decision. That needs to be made by you guys, I guess. And what and what was the dollars for the sludge removal? Oh, it was. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Without doing my calculator here, I would say it was in the neighborhood of about two fifty, two hundred fifty thousand dollars or so. So I mean, it's not a, a lot, a lot of money, but it's it's a lot of money to 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 put out there and then have to scrap, you know, <coughs> twenty five thousand dollar tank and then twenty five thousand dollars for the piping. You know, hate to scrap twenty percent of a project. You know, a year and a half from now, but it does help Bruce and those guys down there when the once the sludge gets in the process. So. Kind of a, mm -hmm. a sticky situation, I guess. Yeah. And there's still a chance we'll have changed the beds out again between now and the demolition time. Starts, Correct. Yeah. At half uh, one point two for if you did all the force about one point two, give or take it. So then there's yeah. no clear cut. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Sarah's right. I, we'd already discussed. I thought we'd pretty much going to the yeah. to get rid of the sand filters and go with the mechanical plant. So at that point, do we want to spend that extra two hundred fifty thousand dollars for a couple of years? What it amount to basically? Yeah. Did we ever get a readout on what it was, what it would take to uh, do the uh, rehabilitation of the beds using the um, hydrogen peroxide? We didn't get any feedback from Aranko. Um, okay. They've been less than super helpful on that. Um, they didn't. They won't give a, a quantity. That's the biggest thing. I mean, it's you can you can put it in those. The lot, you dump it in the lines or pump it into those lines and get pretty good dispersal, but they won't give a, a quantity uh, of how much it would cost. You know, if it's 100 gallons or if it's 5,000 gallons, um, we could, I'll try to press them again a little bit more to see if they could give us a ballpark. I'm not saying it's got to be down to the, if they could give us a ballpark of whether we're talking 100 gallons or 10,000 gallons, that way we, we have a starting point at least to, you would start a corner, I mean, you could just do a little, little section, you know, by a fraction of what the total amount would be to see if it does anything, because if it doesn't do anything, then there's no sense in, in doing it everywhere, but I, I'll continue to press them as much as I can, but they've they've pretty, made it pretty apparent that they're out of the recirculating sand until their business, and... Um, and we should have been. I, I, I guess. I, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know the, the, the thought process on that, but they're kind of leaving some of their their clients, I guess, we'll say for lack of a better word, high and dry, or for you guys, wet. Well, it seems kind of silly to dump more money into this, uh, those, that other process if eventually it's going to be trashed anyway. Waste of money. Well, let me just go. I mean, I guess the question is, is does it, if you're spending that 250 save us from spending a million to change the filters out if they totally fail, because that's a would, would that. Yeah, I mean, there's always the the chance that you get complete failure down there, and then you have before you before you can even get to the mechanical plant, you have complete failure of one of the beds, mm. and then you got to place the media mm. before you. Spend. I don't know enough of the the science and engineering to know. Sounds I mean, to me, there's no good option. Because that would be the. That would be the worst of both worlds there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And there's no guarantee though. What do you recommend? <laughs> What's your recommendation to us? I mean, I personally, I, I'm not the I don't pay user rates, so I take this for. I think the mechanical plant is the the long term better option. And that's why I looked at the 30 and 40 years to see, you know, that that's not your guys's, um, you know, generation to to have to deal with, but. Um, future generations, what are you don't want to put them in a bad position? Um, so I think the mechanical plant is the best solution long term for you guys, even though it does cost more. Um, but the sludge, I, I spent some time to try to figure. We can we can lay everything out to minimize how much it gets removed, but I still think there's amount of piping and amount of. Um, 
that tank is a, the tank ends up getting wasted because um, you're going to put a three to five thousand gallon tank in, and there's there's no way to save that. There's there's nothing we can do in the <coughs> short term to save that. Um, it's a Financially speaking, I mean, if you just got money, it makes sense to not do the sludge, but I don't want to also put your operator in a, in a really, really yeah. bad spot. Um, I pretty well <laughs> think the item inspector was saying we need to go to the tank system and not to... Did you gather that? I mean, one yeah. option, I get, rather than put in the sludge processing, you just start scheduling Sludge removal. A little bit of sludge removal from the primaries. You know, if you know it was going to cost fifty. You're going to spend some money. Let's let's schedule every <clears throat> month to, to have a honey dipper come in and pull twenty thousand gallon or twenty thousand dollars worth of material out of those primaries. Gets the sludge out of the system. Gets some of that slick, snotty phosphorus material out. Um, doesn't do as good as the bagging system, but it hopefully buys some time and buys some protection with the same filters. Seemed to me like he was leaning towards the uh, at least in the interim a quick fix. Something to prevent us getting in a situation where we had a complete failure or things got got worse to the point where but so they come in and take and take charge of it themselves, they're gonna fix it. Yes. Uh, and they're gonna fix it by spending the money to the first person available that'll do the job and then they're gonna drive away and give us a bill. So I I agree that definitely the mechanical plant sounds like it's the best choice for the future. Uh, we've got to do something right now as a stopgap anyway to prevent. We just can't. We've got enough irons in the fire with the water treatment plant and all the other money that we're trying to get to have a major discharge, major failure down there is just going to really cripple us. So really, Harvard, for long term, the option is mechanical plant. Short term is either spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars and put the sludge removal system in, or monthly spend $20,000. And I just do $20,000. Yeah, well, yeah, well, whatever it is. It would be gallons. I don't know how much how much is gallons cost. or dollars. Or I don't know how much the uh, charge, how much guys quite a bit. charge per. Yeah, I don't know what the charge is to do it. Right, to take okay. it to haul well, could it Could we clean the <clears> bed <throat> that overflows and have it clean? That way, if we get a complete pluggage on the other two, the, other, the rest of them, then we have some place to go. Mm -hmm. I do one bed. I, yeah, just work It back. seems like when you're out there, it. Yeah, it's it's it. It, until it seems like, like that one corner where it does overflow has a, is lower. And there's an obvious reason that it has to be lower. That's why it's coming out of that location. I wonder... See, I've heard from two different people. That corner, they run out of sand and use the clay product in there. Well, we can, I mean, we can try to hang and dig or, I mean, because they're not deep and it's just, I mean, it's, it should be sand, so it should be easy, but if it's clay, yeah. it'd be hard to dig, but, mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's, for it to come over in just that location, because if it was level all the way across, it would come out and you would overflow everywhere at the exact same right. time. Since it's coming out in that corner in a very, I mean, you can see exactly where it went over. I mean, it's not 10 feet long and 10 feet the other direction. I mean, I wonder if there's a way that we can, it's not gonna look, it wouldn't look pretty at all, if there was a way to, you know, you put, stick a board with, covered in some thick, you know, heavy mill plastic, and you put, stack it all, you know, take, cover a whole sheet of plywood or something, and you shove it down that side, and so that it just creates a, a wall, and you can put some sandbags or something so on there just to give it some support mm -hmm. so it doesn't want to just tip over to see if, if they're not, when they're not there, if it starts to get high in that area, it's just enough to keep the water away from the edge. And I mean, 30 mil plus, I mean, it wouldn't take those guys half a day, a day to, mm -hmm. to rig up something with some, some heavy mil plastic and just see if it works in some sandbags. Sandbags are 
three dollars, I think, at Menard, four dollars at Menards. Um, yeah, I guess so. A couple hundred bucks just to see if it helps. I mean, that doesn't fix the, the treatment of it, mm -hmm. but it, if we get, because you guys didn't get in trouble for not treating it, you got in trouble for overflowing. Mm -hmm. So if you can keep it in the beds and get it, even if you're not meeting limits, I mean, because that's his part, the, the inspector's preference was don't meet limits before you overflow. It's better to partially treat than it is to not treat. Uh, it was this kind of their stance. So if we can do something just to keep the water in the, the facility itself, then you might be by a little grace from IDEM. Um, they did something, they'll take a picture, and they'll say, it looks like it's the, if it does the job, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, it'll be an obvious band-aid, but um, sometimes that's what it takes. So I guess my, my recommendation is probably go with the mechanical plant, uh, stop design of the sludge process, build up a little makeshift dike, for lack of a better word, and just start some, some monthly or every two weeks, depending on when you're a sludge hauler. And I can help find figure out a, a, a gallonage of that, that probably needs to come out, along with Bruce. And, and get that out of there and spend, rather than spend that money, this money, at some point you got to get the sludge out of there anyway. So mm -hmm. if you can do it every two, three, four weeks over the next however long it takes, the sludge is coming out and you're not accumulating on it. Um, I guess that would be my, my recommendation. You can have all that written down, Kathy? Pardon me. <laughs> do you have all that written now? Yes. Okay. I do. Good. Thank you. Well, to keep from having this discussion again, let's make a motion and approve it. And, and I'll make forward. a motion. I'll make a motion to um, do the mechanical plant. If you guys are all in agreement, do the mechanical plant and stop the sludge bagging that we were going to do and make a makeshift dam dike and haul off, mm -hmm. some, and sludge. Haul off some sludge I'll second it. All fair? Aye. Aye. Okay. That way we can come up again if it's in a minute from the moment we do. Can I have you some time? Yeah. Is it bad? No, I, <laughs> I say that I, I have some answers yeah, to absolutely. some questions I have about the past yep. and why some decisions were made that were made for this town. Yep, absolutely. Thank you. That, so we'll proceed with that. Um, and then the, the next thing, it doesn't have to be in, in November, December, but um, we'll have to look at doing a preliminary engineering report for the wastewater facility. And we'll be able to, if you want us to do it, we can pigtail off of what we've already done for the water. So we've discussed some of the wastewater stuff in it, but we'll have to pull it out and it'll have to be separate uh, PER and everything. For it. And that would be word it can be written for rural development and SRF so that there's no revisions of that, for, of that nature in the future. But it can be submitted to both agencies for funding. So this is something that like a, a Sunderman or one of those kind of places would come in and haul? Is that what you're talking about? It or no? Like, no. I don't know. Wheeling, 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 so we could get started on that, like that now. I mean, like whoever could. You know, and and mm -hmm. Bruce would have an idea of who you guys have used in the past and who's who's got the best price. I mean, that's what the, they all do the same thing. So it's just who can do mm -hmm. per gallon cheaper than the other at that point. Hmm. Okay. And we can help if, if if you need our help. We can certainly help contact those companies as well. Wielding is just doing a bunch of sludge for Alonco uh, before your last meeting because I drove by all their trucks. Mm -hmm. and they dump it right over across the yeah. plant there. They wrap their own. I mean, they do a lot of it. So. And they'll land apply. They 
and apply to ag permitted agriculture fields with the new pledge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I got lay up and mm -hmm. all kinds of. Yep. So I don't feel like you know. I'm assuming those fields are specifically for Avanco, but have they a lot. they well, use depending on how it's contract, they may not be for Alonco because Wheeling and Merrill and they have their own land application permits for, for fields. Yeah. Some communities have their own, so they can hire anybody they want to go just haul it to Jim Bob's farm down here and they can apply every year to his farm. But most of uh, like Wheeling and, and those places have their own permits so they, they've got five hundred fields or throughout the state or whatever that they know they can apply that the ways to well, because they're trans, I just it's nice because their transportation costs are so low there. Yeah, they've got that. I mean, they, yeah, they got to get their trucks down here. But once they get them here, then they're they're going a half yeah. mile and back and half mile and back. There's not a lot of transpo in the. Uh huh. And the volume is a lot of big volume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. Anything else, he can get out of here if he wants to. Yeah. On the water side, I'm just mm -hmm. going to say we're chugging along with design. We're working on. Uh, there's not a lot that uh, we're just doing in the the meat of the design right now, as far as calculations and things go. So, no, uh, nothing bad, nothing good to report, I guess. Nothing bad. Does have you received from item what their preference is on the? We had not heard on the industrial discharge permit that would allow us to discharge the river yet. Um, my guess it'll be a little bit of back and forth because their first answer is going to be their, the first thing is going to say no. <coughs> the plant will respond with the plant is barely hanging on now. There's no way we're taking that there. Um, so we'll have to do more stuff. I think they'll allow us to do that, um, but it's idea. Um, they could they could change um, their decision, but we've got good justification with Bloomingdale right up the road. Discharges to uh, not even a ditch; it's mm -hmm. some trees along the road. Um, it's a little dry bridge. Yeah, it's not even named. It's unnamed tributary to an unnamed tributary. So it's, it's like so it's something you'd have in your yard. So. So will we have? And answer a solid plan before the over applications due on December twenty second. I'm afraid we won't. So, should we just go ahead and schedule the archaeological for? We need. I, I brought that letter a copy for this. So, so. they require an archaeological <laughs> dig because if we go to the route that's along the river to I can't remember, is it Gill that is Nathan, Nathan Gill. Mm -hmm. um, if we go that route, they would require an archaeological dig because it's never been. Majorly disturbed, and it's that's the Erie Wabash Erie Canal area. They have their concerns, uh, so it sounds like we probably need to get just permission from him to do an archaeological dig on that site. If one of you guys can coordinate that, it's not when I say dig, it's not excavators and he thinks like a shovel out and he's looking for Indian beads or whatever they do. Um, and the, I, well, we can. And then where the building is too. Did we have to did it say the building also? Okay, and then the, I guess where the building is at, we'll also need an archaeological what building, thing, which is insane. The RO facility. The tree the RO facility. I. Okay. We might. I it guess we have to do. We'll have to do it, but I disagree with that one. Because yeah, there's a basketball court on one side, <laughs> and there's electric lines and sewer lines and everything lines on the other side, and it's next to it. I will work on getting contacting a archaeolog archaeologist. Sorry, I can say that word. Uh, and it's not a ton of money. Usually, I don't know the last one we paid for. But we're, we're working on getting a contact. If, if that's good. Well, I, and I think you can challenge the building one based on how this is worded, but they initially say. Well, since Cindy was here, made me think of this. Um, and other projects, we need to probably get something in writing from Mr. Gill before you submit. And are we going to have to do all the Uniform Relocation Act stuff? Even I, I, yeah, okay. Okay. 
So I mean, I... You would, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I have it to share with you. <laughs> so do you want to go ahead and... This December is coming up faster than we yeah. wanted to accept the thing. Do you, you want us to go ahead and draft an easement for the proposed location? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we need something. And I, I guess I could, or I could do an agreement with him that says he will give us the easement, maybe. Um, and that might suffice. There's some other property addresses listed here, too, so I'll just... Other property? What other property? Justin, why not move north from that spot to where this... Do I? I said, why not move north from Dustin's property to where the Boy Scout property used to be? The town owns that. We've got a sewer line going right down oh, okay. there. Is that, I can't remember what street that is. is that That's water? on water. Water in the I don't need to worry about site acquisition with these properties. Pardon, Dustin? No. Just the easement would be the only. Wilkinson and water. If, but as far as the archaeological. If we got, though, something from Mr. Gill. That, like an agreement that said, mm -hmm. I agree that if you do need to put an easement in, I will grant it to you no cost. Yeah. That would suffice for site control, I think. Because um, I hate to have them give us an easement and then end up. It sounds like that's probably what will happen, but I mean, I guess we could always revoke the easement or rescind the easement if he grants it to us. Yeah. And Dustin provided the, the two options of, of that. Um, <coughs> waste coming out so that shipboats responded to both of those scenarios. Sorry to wait until I just want to make sure I'm talking about I've got the right. Do you want it's about two pieces okay. of property normally? Oh just like carry on. I'm just trying to oh, okay. map. Why is it what? I have something that doesn't work. No, okay. It's coming. What kind of issues are they anticipating that the flow of the river is up above the Output of the RO and the RO is not continuously outputting. Well, the pressure of the RO system puts yeah, the river exactly. water out of the out of the out of the. Yeah, it'll be it's all. Or are they, they going to fight each other? It'll fight each other a little bit, but the pump was high enough pressure that it'll pump it out into the river without unless the river gets up ten feet of above Water Street, in which case we got bigger fish to fry than yeah. the Water Street mm -hmm. plant yeah. at that point. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure we're so looking kind of right in here. Uh, is this the Boy Scout? So there's an existing house, water's here, then the hill, the shock looking building right on the screen. Where's the alley? Right there, right here next to the white. Okay, so it's this property right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will. It's pretty dark. I don't know if we'll see much tonight, but I'll come up here and take some pictures to see. So we really just need to be able to get over a little bit and I think wrap down archaeological. I think the town, Kathy, haven't they already marked the sewer line there for those people that wanted to build on the, the property? Oh, Where at? The little scout property on Water Street. Yeah, but we've not heard back from them once we told them they were going to have to revise their building permit. and. Yeah, but, I, but it, was it, was it was marked from a few months ago, but, yeah, but I don't know. It might not okay. be marked now. Well, I'll take a look at it. I mean, if there's yeah. flags there, it means we'd like to get an easement. That, that would be perfect. It's town property. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, that would be ill. Yeah, that would help. And then just as long as there's not a big... Tree. I mean, we tore that house down, so there shouldn't be much back. It should, be, should all be small growth, I would imagine. What? Oh, I'm missing there. I was like, who just walked out? A lot of fill in So we were going to go to the Gellers' new property. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was going to be farther yeah. south yeah. than. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be ideal if they could well, do it right there. Farther north. Farther north. Farther north. Maybe you would have to New York watch because they had to put the bridge in. They had to do one thing. Whatever you tell me, the closest to the final will be that's what we'll use. Okay. I'll double check. I don't know. I mean, we still have a little bit of time to do that. But I didn't need the bridge. Jay, you went south and named it. It's crazy. Water and Crawford. Yeah. For the disposable, would you still have to do the archaeological dig there? They put a bridge in there. 
<laughs> so that was all dug up already once already, yeah. whatever year the bridge was built. So that's what I would argue with the, the Boy Scouts. If we if we get close to where the old house building structure, whatever you want to call it, was at, would argue that with that new location that it was the house was dug and built there and then we tore the building down, where you guys tore the building down. It's been more than disturbed. Um, I would argue that with Shipto, I don't know if we get yeah. anywhere. Shipto and then if you get, get too close to bridge, then you got M dot and DNR and we, four engineers. The bridge, the bridge <laughs> Wide open, right? As you, I mean, there's a riprap down there, but um, you know, SGS. Yeah, that's a good idea. This, that's the first place I look because it's wide open and we could claim right away. Can you not do it there? You know, well, because we just vacated that one, but there were a couple other alleys up there. Um, that's what they were talking about using that where um, storm those people drain applied for yeah. that building permit mm -hmm. that we had that storm drain there. Mm -hmm. That would be ideal. There are little town owns the property south of that. We can pull up the the GIS and make sure we're on your guys' property, and we'll take a look. And There's an alley that should go right there, or street. One, two, I don't know. I mean, we can if if I'm I, I, sorry to step out there for a second, but if I mean, if property owners willing to do it, that's fine. Um, but. Um, I just was thinking if there was another way. The, the river gets farther away, though, when you get up right. and farther north. I mean, that's, there, so. It doesn't have to. We don't have to get it into the water. I mean, yeah. if you go down to the wastewater treatment plant, that, that yeah, would we'd be discharging on you know, way up high. Those crops, so land. We just have to get over kind of the hump, I guess you'd call it. Um, I'll take a look at the topography there. Yeah. We'll do that. So I'll, I'll look at that and then if, if, if we need to do an archaeological plot, I'll come back yeah. to the next meeting to discuss. But that may alleviate it being as the house is there. And then the treatment plant, when I, I strongly disagree with that <coughs> determination, with there's a big electrical line that goes right through there. So, had a basketball court. Okay. I assume pumping to Illinois has been considered, right? Yeah. <laughs> Send it to Boone County. They want to drain the river. Yeah, they change the wall back. Anything else? That's all I got. Hopefully. All right. For you guys. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy <coughs> Thanksgiving. Yeah, do you want, you want to call me or do you want to meet in person? I can just call you. You sure? Yeah. I mean, I can meet in person. Mm -hmm. Well, he's going to come look at that one anyways. Let's get through Thanksgiving. Okay. I just want to ask you some questions. Absolutely. All right. Thanks. Good. Oh, seven runs for the month. Uh, Thank you, Dustin. Everything's going good so far. Huh? Oh. Uh, kids' Christmas parties come up December 2nd. That's a Saturday at 3 o'clock. You're all more welcome to come by and see Santa Claus. Maybe get a candy cane or a bag of candy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to call some grants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and coloring books. And coloring books. Candy came in, so we're uh, plugging right along. So. Uh, a couple of fires, so what's uh, a little interesting on the list here the last few weeks. So yeah. plug in. Appreciate everything. We're still yeah. doing research and yeah. seeing what we need and what we got to go. So. And we're officially under a burn ban. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're under a burn ban, but that interferes didn't affect some people. They thought they were above and beyond it. So. Yeah. <laughs> If you uh, oh, see them up burning, call dispatch. They'll send an officer over, then they'll call us, and we'll just turn <laughs> into a mud pit. Hmm. That that that? Cans too. We're all good. So yeah. Yeah. Right. Wow. We'll get through this debacle of the water and the wastewater and all that, and then it'll be the new fire on our end. So we've got some stuff that's coming up that's going to be an issue for us later on down the road. But uh, we're doing some research and all that. So we'll see what we can Thanks for all your efforts. Appreciate it. Thank you. I smelled it last night. Anna. Um, minor stuff. Pranks in the Park was a success. We had people standing in line in the rain to get on a wagon that they knew they were going to ride off on the rain on. But the, it was fun. Uh, there was uh, a little bit of, we could have just canceled it, but we didn't. And we just, we had a good time in spite of everything. And uh, 
will be bigger and better again next year. Uh, and thank you for your support, everyone. Um, let's see. We have the cook-off coming up February 17th and um, 2024. And then um, the eclipse viewing will be April the 8th. And then after that, we have the 5K in May. And so we've got some... It's going to be boom, boom, boom as soon as the calendar turns. Um, the, Kathy emailed me about the camping concrete pads in Reader Park. And I think we decided we're going to wait until spring. And we'd like to get someone with a camper down there to kind of see how people really do expect to park there. Because during festival, people just park any old way. And we need to decide how we want them to park there and how we need to pour the pads to facilitate better camping for people. And we don't want to make it awkward. So we're just going to kind of hang on and we still need the help of the young men that said that they would uh, take care of the concrete for us and uh, we'll hopefully get that done in the spring. And we made a lot of progress in the restrooms down there. And the bathroom floors there are painted now. And it is just so nice and so much nicer to keep clean. And then we've got the shower curtains. Yeah. yeah, and more <laughs> privacy with the shower curtains and everything. So it, it looks a lot better there. We're still going to paint the ceiling. But um, other than that, we're doing okay. Petitions. Yes, and we got the new concrete block partition so it, we made a vast improvement there and um, I don't remember but am I forgetting something I don't remember anything we've been busy it's been real busy but um, anyway I don't want to take any more time and, uh, I appreciate your support always thank you here's a thank you George from the park board we think we had around 300 people there. We had 275 paying customers, but we think there were around 300 people there for the party. So it was a good evening. It's always a good community event and just a fun evening. But thank you to everyone who... Our cook. You know, our cook, yeah. A little milk. We're hot dogs. Yeah, round. that's all right. We, we don't... Some people mm -hmm. like them for yeah. right. All right. That's all I have, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cindy. Yeah, I just have hopefully a quick thing. Um, so you've you've seen the letter that we received back from Shippo. That was just one of the things I wanted to create some awareness. So I would appreciate that that Dustin was here to talk about it. Um, but we also did our site visit with the Okra Community Liaison. Um, on November 6th and Paul and Rex and John were able to attend that meeting so I'm just sharing some comments that impacts um, the board relative mm -hmm. to that visit to go over with you and um, one of the first things that they pointed out because when we did the budget for the project we only we were only showing the SRF funding from the forgivable and non-forgivable loan as, as basically where the payments are coming from. Their statement is the grant, administ grant administration fees, the fees you pay for the environmental review and the labor standards cannot come from SRF. So those would need to come from local funds. The total they can come from that from the SRF alone, could they not? The comment they gave us that day is it cannot come from SRF because I put it under the non forgivable loan portion mm -hmm. and that, that was their response that back. Okay. I can I can double check that because I was I know, surprised I, too. Yeah, that, that, that I mean, if you're borrowing, yes, yeah, it's our money. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're borrowing. It's not. Yeah, uh, and I feel like uh, I feel like I mean, I'm doing some SRF Okra stuff right uh -huh. now, and I feel like that's how that's set up. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's how I maybe the, maybe it. maybe maybe a little bit of maybe like five thousand of that came uh -huh. from 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 local, but. But, uh, I mean, we can do it, it's just... I'll just direct the question back and ask, you know, the intent is for it to come in the non-forgivable mm -hmm. loan portion and see what what response I get Otherwise, back Otherwise, we'll that. just add it to the loan. I mean, it's, 
or a wash. Yeah. Um, but that total for all three of those um, pieces is sixty six thousand. So <coughs> the lease on it. It's smaller than the numbers you've been talking about. Yeah. <laughs> right. For sure. So that if the if we're not approved for Oak Ridge funding, then we'll be out the environmental review for sure, or the archaeology. Yes. And the labor standards. No. No, just that. Just the archaeology. Yeah. Because you're not going to get anything from me unless you're approved. We, we soon I can talk. I mean, I, I, I think. If that's the case, I mean, I, I, you're talking, I don't know how much the archaeological would be. Environmental is about 5,000. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much the archaeological, as long as they don't find bones, you're probably okay. If they yeah. find bones, it's a problem. But uh, <laughs> really, I've seen it. It's not very. Um, yeah, I don't try a lot of things. I don't understand what they're saying because then. <laughs> just, okay. But I will shoot them that question again and, and get uh, another response but that's that was one of the first uh, comments we received the other thing Scott is they said the fair housing policy was missing some appropriate head required language I don't even know if I did it um, it's it in the policy it's in like a policy format okay. like, like I'm sure somebody manual. gave it to us and we just okay it probably has to be updated yeah. um, I, do you need me to figure out, find out exactly what's missing? If you just want to give me the new one, we can just adopt a new one. Okay. I'll repeal the old one and adopt a new one. Okay, at All your right. next meeting? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, <coughs> we knew this was going to be a request, but they're looking for a commitment letter from SRF. All we had to submit at that time was the email exchange with Dustin. Um, so, okay. <laughs> I know that's kind of hard to press now because you've not closed on anything. Well, I mean, I, 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 I wanted to talk to them anyway. I know that, you know, HWC's reached out to them about, we're still optimistic <coughs> that once they see some of the rate analysis that the, the numbers are going to change more favorably. But uh, if we get something from them and now, I don't. I want it to be in writing, but I want them to be <laughs> willing to change it. It's part of what I, I don't want them to. I want to do it in a way that they say this is what our preliminary commitment is. Subject, but if we change it, it'd only be better for you or something. Mm -hmm. um, I'll talk to SRF. Um, see if we can get uh, Mr. Harkins or Hask what are, Har Bill Harkins. Haskins. Haskins. Um, it is not Harkins. Harkins. Yes. Yeah. Um, and and. Um, get on get on a call with him or an email with him. So. Okay. And um, the conversation we had was our liaison is trying to help us receive the maximum number of points possible on a grant. So we have the question again: Are there other things that ha that provide community input? So we were just. I mean, I think we've done the survey, um, we've done the public meeting, you guys have been talking about this for a long time, um, do you, th and I'm kind of looking at Kathy, do you think there's anything in any past minutes that would... Not where the public's been here and commented, okay. been discussion between mm -hmm. HWC and these guys and Novak, mm -hmm. that gave you those. Yeah, yeah. But if it was resident A come in and said, I'm tired mm -hmm. of buying bottled water, or, you know, those kinds of things. But we do have a Facebook post mm -hmm. um, that we can use and, and those things. So I think we're yeah. kind of maxed out on anything that's yeah. documented. Um, but they wanted to just state that. Um, okay. Ask Paul. I'll get that real. Yeah, to just to, mm -hmm. you know, come up with. At least a, a scenario of having the conversation with the farmer, um, and they would also like to see a letter come from the council um, naming this project as a priority for you. So, if um, 
I don't know if one of you want to write that or if you want ask Kathy. Yeah. I don't know how you want to approach that one. <laughs> And it needs to come from the council, correct? Yes, it yes. needs to be signed by the council. And I don't know, maybe Paul can put it in the letter with the, with the other conversation. And then just say also as, as the council, we've got, this is a priority for us if you want to just come by. Hey, hey. <laughs> Okay. We got back up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we it's all around for a and while. We explored all our all, all alternatives. And yes. Yeah. Safety is a priority. No, I don't know our case. It's our priority. Yeah. 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 All of that good stuff. <laughs> and the the last thing they asked for, which I. I found this just a little odd. So the A and P is asset management plan that you had to do. They they were asking, what are you going to do from that? Well, everything. And if there's things that have to happen, how would you? What fund would you use to pay for them? Um, some weird questions. Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, we have a, an improvement fund in our water. Or we will once this is over. <laughs> no, we will. I mean, I, I don't know. Do you have water improvement fund there? We have depreciation. Depreciation. We yeah. will use our depreciation fund. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I have not seen the, the AMP, so I I mean, I don't know. I, I'm familiar I with what are normally in them, but. Um, I mean, it's it's a weird question because the, the, the rate will have a built in. Yes. For that, yeah. that will yeah. go into. In theory, the depreciation fund, and that's what the depreciation fund is used for, is to fund those activities, like whatever those projects, yeah. asset management, the at replacement of the capital assets, pumps, and things as they need to be replaced. Maybe they just want me to say something. Make sure we know what we're plan. doing. I guess, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Make sure we have a plan. And that was it. I mean, as far as things I need from you, the other comments are things I can tweak in the application itself. We're going to need a sewer poker brand. <laughs> sure sounds like that. <laughs> Duly noted, right? <laughs> yeah, so I think, we, I mean, we got really good feedback, I think, yeah. from her, and, and she felt we had a very strong competitive application, and mm -hmm. well, she's not the one that gets to, to vote for us. But, um, There's good media. Do you have a copy of the agreed order and all that? Yes. I don't know if you guys have some other thoughts you want to share from that meeting. Or? No, I'm good. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, we're back to the agenda. Donation request from the fire department to the Canyon Children's Christmas Party. Last year we did $500 split between electric and gas. I'll make a motion to do that again. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. Do we? To abstain. To, yep. Abstain. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, okay. Okay, now we got a notice taxpayers for the uh, additional appropriation for the yeah. seated fund to clarify the expenditure and demolition of the house in the north end. That's just to cover yeah. our butts before the end of the year because it actually should have been done at the time, but. Hmm. It's a, just a reportable fund. It's not where we have to get permission, so. Your books are okay. Yeah. Do we need to have a motion to approve that? No. no. I'm just letting you know. And then at the December 7th meeting, that will be the public hearing. Okay. 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 Copy letter sent to item and close the packet in regards to the wastewater inspection violation of the letter. Anybody know what we what they were told? We got a copy of an email 
from Ron Reagan of UTM requesting that we go to the ACH for future invoice payments. That's a, Do we need an ordinance for that? No. We don't need no, we do. Not that far. I, I, you I, say uh, it's more secure form of payment. I've never had anybody have to do one to, to do it. No. No. Pop, credit cards, they want policy. Yeah. But, uh, the only ones we do sense. right now are the state mandated ones. We yeah. don't do anything. They're tight, but... Okay. So we're going to do that. So you have a motion? I'll make a motion that we go through the ACH for invoice payments. I'll second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And everybody's got their direct deposit paperwork to get back by the end of the month. Okay. And that's for us. That's all yes. No, this is for us. Okay. <laughs> If you want your big you check, want your, uh, make up for all them meetings. Yes. Oh, yes. I don't know. December usually. Huh? Okay. 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 Um, okay. Usually it's the second week of the sale. So it's going to be in the Navy. It's a fair last minute shopping. It's supposed to be the end of the month because it's after that. But I kind of moved it back. So it go midnight on Wednesday. Yeah. Really? Gotcha. Oh no, I'm looking at November. Hang on. How many years ago was that? Everybody will have that back up to Kathy, or her wrath will be upon you. Mm -hmm. Can you jump back up to that HWC pay payout? Yes, ma'am. Please. Before I pick it up. I remember drop that off, though. All right. That's for the. Oh, oh, that's for the warm. That's yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a different thing. Why is that going to? If you the want paving, the the portion split in the back. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So you don't have to. So we need to get choice. the motion to approve that. That's correct. I'll make a motion to approve that, that amount for the HWC pay of $52,525. You will be able to reimburse yourselves for all these payments once your loan closes. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Okay. Now, drug and alcohol re revealed several violations in regards to our policy and the fact that our current policy. There's not much help in the last few years. Really nice, Contact the USDI for assistance and would like to switch their program. <coughs> switch to their program in order to yeah. keep us in compliance with the program. And no, a copy of the email in regards to that. And a violation and all this audit stuff going on. Yeah, more than by September. Put it on the corner of my desk and put it on. So we're grabbing that audit. I'll do my paperwork in the morning. I was like, oh my God. So I was going to send it to my office. He's getting this next time. USBI testing program. We did not do the rest of it. Fine, this. Exactly. <laughs> that be the the Does the payment for the screening and all that higher than what we've been doing, or yes. is it equal, mm -hmm. roughly? I mean, Kathy said it's it, in the long once, run. The thing is, by switching to that new program, every employee will have to go be tested as a um, new employee, so to speak. Because you're starting a new But one. once we get through that, it'll be a lot cheaper. Okay. Plus, we'll have the support that we don't have from this D D Disa okay. drug alcohol company. Yeah. Okay. And where do they do they? Now that's local. They or do used they to go? come to us when we had to send. If the mobile unit wasn't available, we had to send to Rockville Family Health and Help Center. There's a certain laboratory that we'll have to go through. He wasn't sure, but he'll check in this area and see which one it would be. Okay. Probably Terre Haute, I would assume, or 
lot of music down there. Is that right there, there by that? Mm -hmm. well, no, behind Fruit, the... Fruit Ridge and... Uh, oh, that's right. Fruit Ridge and... I was thinking uh, it was behind the mall. So was I. I was thinking behind the mall, too. For that toy slayer. There's no charge for the plan. It would just be the just fee the per... Just the fee mm -hmm. and then the charge. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's going to be better than what we have and get the help that you need, I say we make a motion to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say we make a motion to switch over to. What is this? The yeah. USDI. Yeah. I'll second. What's the initial outlay going to be for? Is everybody going to be retested again? Yes. Yeah. Much like 175 uh -huh. per test. Yeah, but once that's done. Uh, we'll be in a pool of, he said, 3,500 people, so we might not even have one or two tested per year. Yeah, it should be random that they pull. That yeah. they... Compared to what we're paying Visa right now, it, in the long run, it will be cheaper. Okay. So you made a motion. I did. I second it. Can you second it? All in favor. All right. Aye. Thank you. Okay. Rick. Uh, we're going to have to send somebody to this thing on uh, November 30th. Oh, the uh, discount. Not the discount program. Oh, uh, it's. I guess I'm going to ask you. Oh, that's from the last meeting. Oh. It's going to be a Zoom meeting. Oh, okay. And he's not got it set up yet. The meeting's the 30th, but after that, he'll set up a Zoom meeting, and anybody who wants to join can join it. Sounds good. And I think, mm -hmm. didn't you and John say you could just do it up at his office? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That way everybody could just be in one mm -hmm. spot. And... for next year. Is there anything where you're going to help us or what we need to go elsewhere? Don't we still have two years on our contract? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. We John just signed at the end of last year. I think. Mm -hmm. I can look at it. Forth, but it's something we're going to have to do. That's salary. And that's got to be done by the end of the year. Yes, it does. So, do we want to tell we need a special meeting? Is that executive? Yeah, you probably need to look your numbers over and somebody run some numbers before you make any kind of decision. Uh, just because of <laughs> Everything else going on. Just so. Cool. So, what? Mm -hmm. So happy. 
either at your next special session or one after that. One prior. That'd be the weekend after Thanksgiving. Two years. Yeah. Because nine was completed, and you did a 20 budget. Most didn't die. Yep. Um, talk to the end of the month. I'm good on the 30th and 1st. I never care. Yeah. So the 30th? I'll be out of town the 30th, and the first is the first night of the candy cane thing down there. Oh, it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so those nights are out for me, but. The 29th? Is anybody available? The 29th. Mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm working at one night, Rex. Yes. Two to ten. Three nine three to ten. Three to ten. Oh, yeah. oh three to ten. We're trying to meet for the mm -hmm. look over the salary thing. Yeah. What's your schedule, Rex? When do you when are you off? Uh, Is, let's see. I'm off the twenty second. That's Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. Um, off the 25th, which is no, Saturday. Uh, yeah, 30th and, and the 1st, I'm off. I could do the 22nd. Hey, what does this sound like to you? Because I can get you paperwork that you need to look at and some figures, salary ordinances on the 7th. Do you want to set a meeting after that? Because somebody should really run some numbers and, and mm -hmm. what you're thinking in your head. Okay. It saved you another another meeting. We're here already anyway. I do it to seven. I can give you all that paperwork and then one of you can run some figures and would that work? That will work for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Works for me. Mm -hmm. How about you on the seventh? Yeah, we can do the seventh. That's our regular projects. And then me afterwards? Yeah. After the Special. No, it has to be during a special. You can't talk about the salaries. No, I mean, but we'll talk about it after the regular meeting. Yeah, because I can give you all the paperwork and stuff on the 7th and information, and then you could meet after that if that works out better, unless you want yeah. to do it before. That's going to work for me. Yep. Which will live in yep. Hi. The day which will live in infamy. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Guess we'll go to the corner after by ourselves. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sean. Um, no, um, they discussed about the Christmas party. Everybody's welcome to come down if anybody wants to come down. It's a great time. It's very fast. <clears throat> it's quick. But, yeah. And thank you. For the donation for it. Uh, downtown around the post office looks really nice. I know that there's one sign that they're waiting on, but um, it's on its way. But I don't know if you guys have noticed all the signs and the or the one sign and the curbs are printed and looks nice. Yeah. That's all I've got. Thank you, Kathy. No, I don't have anything else. Huh. Uh, <clears throat> We go to court on the damage hearing for 1263 North Jefferson on the 28th. So I'm trying to decide whether to have Kathy come and testify live or just get an affidavit from her. I'm still. Oh, you're going to get some knock, knockout bills. November 28th? I don't, you don't, probably don't have to come. I can probably just get an affidavit from her. But I was going to torture you by telling you. I think I've been enough lately. <laughs> well, if you got some other reason, we can do it. That's how you make her go somewhere. Um, it shouldn't be a big deal. We'll get the judgment, and then I will foreclose upon that judgment against the property, which will ultimately lead to a sheriff's sale. If somebody wants to come in and buy it at the sheriff's sale um, and pay more than what your judgment is going to be, which is going to be about $15,000, they are welcome to have it. Uh, frankly, if somebody comes in and offers five for it, I'd let them have it probably. But um, um, 
you can bid your judgment essentially, um, and then you would own it, and then we would sell it. Or if somebody wants to buy it at the sheriff's sale, they're they'll have to outbid you. So, but the, when they do that, the other lot next to it's already it's purchased, already so it's not available. It's just that, it's lot, just that lot, and then that corner lot is has a for sale sign on it now. Mm -hmm. It's sold. It did. Oh. Okay. Okay. That process okay. will take a few months, so it so will it's be just in the next lot. year. Okay. But, uh, um, so that's. Mm -hmm. Nice to have that gone. But it looks better anyway. Yes, that's, that's right. right. You know, Buy that block, put me a new house on it. Jay, can I share one? Yeah. 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 Um, there, I'm now also working in um, grants from the Office of Energy Development that's coming from the state. They just announced yesterday that there is a grant available to local governments only. There is no match to this, but it, they're looking for projects between 100 and 200,000, and it's specific for. Um, targeting energy planning, energy audits, building upgrades, and electric transportation for communities. So um, I don't know if that is on anyone's radar to audit all of your facilities, for lighting, energy, all of that stuff to get done and see what types of improvements you may or may not need, or if you've already done that and you have plans for some upgrades on your buildings related to that. Um, Again, this is um, a no match opportunity, and applications are due February the second. That's through the state. Because mm -hmm. IMPA <coughs> has been emailing a lot of information. I don't know if it's on the same thing through the state yeah. or through them. It's mm -hmm. through the state. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I probably so sent you that one, didn't I? Or mm -hmm. I got it today too. Maybe so is this <coughs> something that like? Skip had asked about like new lighting in the firehouse. Is that something we could use for something like that? Yeah, I mean they're probably looking for. I mean up to a hundred. Yeah, two hundred. Yeah. So yeah. if it's new firehouse, multiple <laughs> new firehouse. No, it's energy upgrade. <laughs> 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 we could make it energy. Well, <laughs> but I mean, I you guys have talked before about some HVAC problem, things yeah. and. Yeah, you know, just, just um, look at all the fluorescent uh, lights we got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if somebody yeah, put that. together a plan, this one, this one, all the offices, yeah, this one, shop, not bad. But I mean, they, yeah. Yeah. They, those fluorescents would probably the they would do LEDs now. <laughs> the yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So does Emba have someone that would do an energy audit that then could put together a project? <laughs> just asking. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, I mean, no. There's do you fill out the application, or you have to have an audit done and then fill out the application? Well, with the audit, they could itemize all of the things that you need to upgrade. Is all I was thinking, rather than you just saying, oh, "Let's go get an this, estimate this. for lights." Yeah, yeah. professional. There might be some, somebody. Is that something Jason Ollie does, or is that like a Kirby Risk thing? <coughs> that they would could do be. something like that. Uh, yeah, I guess it'd be, it'd take care of the budget part anyway, I would think. But just, I just wanted to plant that out there. I mean, that's a great opportunity for governments. Mm -hmm. to went to the well, February 2nd. Yeah, February 2nd. Yeah, February 2nd. Okay. I, I, I had, it, it was a much bigger project, and, and it was a few years ago, and there wasn't grant money available, but the airport had, a group came out, and they did something like that, and said, okay, if you place this and do this and do this. It cost this much, but it saved you this much. Of course, the re and they did all that for free because then they want the work. Uh -huh. yeah. So I don't know who does this stuff, but if you found somebody, yeah. you know, they, I'm, you probably get somebody to come out and do the audit, and then they would want to get the money to do the yeah. project. The county, Park County is using, a, they call it, Company's called the Core, C O R E. I don't remember the second part of that, but he's done those audits and prepared projects. So um, I think we may use it for some chillers at the courthouse or you know stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah, they were. 
they were big in, uh, you know, replacing boilers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. but, but, I'm sure. Uh, Sheriff could give, could give us a name and number of people. It says, I mean, it's, it says energy efficiency. If there's something more efficient than what we've got up there already. <laughs> might be yeah, it, and they give you like a contact. So if you have a question, if that would be eligible, you could ask that question. Do they have a list of what's what hits the criteria? No, yeah, what hits that what criteria? It's those things I said. If you, if you want to pay somebody to do the audit, if you want to have you know, X, Y, and Z things done, but it doesn't necessarily expand on each and everything. Okay. 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 Like from these five kind of things. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's definitely worth I, looking I mean, into. I, I mean, I'd be silly, be silly to not. Yeah. I'll send the, the grant information to John so he'll have it. Um, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention. He wasn't here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Let, Any let time you hear about a lot things. easier done than the gas would be. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, all in all, I think what the intent is to <coughs> reduce the electric grid. I mean, the drain on the grid, basically, is what we're trying to help you do. Right. <laughs> So yeah, the water treatment plant. Yeah. <laughs> solar, solar, solar panels for new water treatment plant. Yeah. yeah. So, would that be something that the town maybe could install uh, electric car chargers of the parks? I think it's intended to serve the government. So if the if your local government owned electric vehicles, then yes, but we don't want it. Yeah. It would be. Now, with, with IMPA, they have agreements to put in charging stations. Yeah. Rockville well, just did not do it. Because I said, put like a little park and go to the taste freeze where they're waiting to you know, charge the car where they get a cheeseburger. <laughs> get a good charger. Right? 35 minutes without a cheeseburger. <laughs> You'd be able to go another 40 miles. You say the trickle charge? <laughs> but I don't know if that's uh, going to pay for that. Would that go back to the town? Well, I think the intent is for the town to reduce their usage. No addition is just improve what you got. Believe me, let's cut a lot of that. Yeah. Anything else? Did you run out of tape? You guys have been through the whole battery. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Yeah. 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 Done. Meeting adjourned.